Hey, what's up? My name is Sam. I love servers, and I come from an all Chevy family, and you're watching The Daily Grind. Time you guys are watching this it is sunday no one's works no one works sunday i am here though i'm gonna be answering emails we're supposed to get our shipment of all the stuff we bought from ikea to set up front room retail which is up there so this mess of a room right here would become retail i'm really excited to share this with you guys a lot of you guys come by almost every day asking to get stuff and i don't i feel like kind of embarrassed that we don't have retail set up especially this room is so messy because we use it as a work room so if all go goes according to plan we will have this beautiful room set up with retail. I spent about a few G's yesterday buying a lot of racks and stuff and I didn't want to do it like a pop-up style where it's like a simple rack. I wanted you guys to feel like you guys are coming into my wardrobe of all the primal stuff. So it feels like a closet, a very large closet. So that's kind of the idea of what we're going to do for this room. Some next level stuff out of this box, creating boxes so you guys think of. I don't know, man. I woke up real inspired today, really motivating. So I want to disseminate all my, my love and excitement to you guys today. But I'm going to get to work. Enjoy this next cinematic sequence. <laughs> I think I drank three much I've been mixing with two Couple women coming through They gon' wanna tee up with me too Yeah Tango Ray got me started I think I need a girl from Harlem Don't act like you Don't wanna get involved with me Somebody T showed up <laughs> What's up dude? What's up? I remember, I remember, of course I remember I put you guys in the video Yeah you did hey, Alright, so I was getting my ST? Yeah, yeah I got it dude You got it This is a 4028 package. The shift knob is supposed to come carbon fiber, but due to an uh, incident at the dealership, they had to give me that uh, shift knob. But yeah, um, it has 252 horsepower, 270 pounds of torque. It's uh, six seconds, 0 to 60, and then, yeah, dude, the thing, this thing pulls, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, it'll keep up with your Subi. Nice. It will. Nice. It'll keep up for sure. We're gonna do a review on your car soon. <laughs> Because right. it's brand new. How many miles? Uh, well, I got it with zero miles. Ooh. And right now, since I've been driving it around for a couple, well, I only drove it yesterday and today, uh -huh. it has 130 miles. Oh, good. Yeah. Cool. Cool. But it's practically brand new, dude. I like it, dude. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah, thank you, I'll man. See you around, thank dude. you for your time. <laughs> we got another homie here. I'm nervous to meet you. Not Donny, you bed. Donny, what's up, dude? How's your name? Miguel. What's up, Miguel? Yeah. How's it going, dude? Pretty good. And you? Good. Not too bad. See, this is what I like about Primal Driven Headquarters. We have fans come through, people who love the car, want to check it out. What's your Instagram? Miguel period four five five. Nice, nice, nice. Like right here. Yeah. There you go. Check him out, guys. New guy. His birthday is on Wednesday. Yeah. So happy early birthday. Thanks, dude. Love, I love you guys showing up. Always welcome. If I'm here, you catch, catch me in a good time, you're welcome to come. That was a nice little break from meeting some subscribers, fans, and just supporters of the channel. Definitely appreciate it, guys. And I want to address one thing. You guys are asking about the GTR and why is it on video? And you're like, wait, Mike, you're supposed to wait for 100,000 subscribers. Yes, you are correct. This car came up three times in my radar, I believe in things happening for a reason, so I had to buy it. They offered it again, boom, I bought it. So. We skipped the goal, but remember the new goal is still 100,000 subscribers. This weekend, I leave to a cruise to Mexico, which is coming up like on Friday. So right after that day, the car will disappear from both channels. You guys can only see me drive it and hang out with it until we hit 100,000 subscribers, 
right here. So I definitely encourage you guys to hit the like button because it helps share it. Also, obviously, share the video and subscribe if you haven't. Let your mom and dad, your neighbors, your friends, and I bet you some of your coworkers watch me. So let them know. Let's hit the 100K soon, right? Please, because I want to drive it. I see a big ass truck creeping. It's got to be the, the drop off. All right, I move my car. I'm so excited about this. All the retail stuff is coming into Primal Driven Headquarters. I don't know when, I can't give you guys an estimated date when it will be open, but when we do open, we're gonna have such crazy exclusive items for physical retail, and we'll make a limited amount available online, so if you guys aren't here, you guys will also get the same opportunity to buy those limited designs. But it's gonna take like probably a week to set up retail because we gotta put it all together ourselves. I'm about to clean up and head out, but I'm texting Iris right now. We're figuring out a name for the GTR. The Subaru we'll name later because I wanna create a very special name for it. I don't know what it is yet, but the GTR instantly popped on my head. Let's take the G-Ride today. I say G-Ride because it's a GTR, but I say G-Ride because in like slang on the street, a G-Ride is a stolen car. And honestly, I feel like I stole the car for a few reasons, is the car was a sick ass deal. And second is I drive it like it's freaking stolen. And I guess the third reason is I have it and I still like feel like it's not mine. I feel like I stole the car from someone because in the end I'm like, it's shocking that I have a GTR. From now on, we're calling the GTR the G-Ride. So when I say I'm hopping in a G-Ride, GTR. All right, I gotta clean up and go. First off, you guys are always asking me what I film on. This is a Sony a7S II. This is also a Sony a7S II. This is my iPhone. I have a Canon 70D, and also I have a G7X. So I have a lot of cameras that I film on. In this case, I have two Sony a7S's, which are stupid expensive cameras. The whole setups I have is probably like close to 10,000, just two camera setups. But I have a bunch. I like the Sony a lot. It's expensive, but it's a good camera. I told you a lot of good things coming. That's why I have so much equipment right now. I'm loading up on quality equipment, and then I'm gonna bang out with a bunch of good stuff for you guys. It's expensive, but I wanna invest into everything. I don't talk about it much. I bought these cameras a while ago, but I never really talked about them. But you guys probably saw the quality changes because the camera changed, but I don't need to brag to you guys about you know, buying expensive equipment because you guys get to experience all the good stuff. But I will make a full video on like all the equipment I use, so that way you guys, if you guys decide to start vlogging or making crazy good videos, I will lay it all out for you, what you need to make things primo, cinematic sequences, Mike Wynn media style. Fist bump again, there's like a fifth, fifth fist bump today. Here I am, slapping and punching my $5,000 cameras. What kind of crazy man am I? Sony, send me some stuff, Sony. So I'm sitting here chilling and editing. Iris brings me delicious ass food. I can get used to this life. If you guys didn't notice, I am in a super rush, or we are in a super rush. Just got back from the gym, loaded up the car, we're headed over to Orange County, meet some friends for dinner and a movie. I think I drank three I've been mixing with two couple women coming through. They gon' wanna tea. Got me started. We made it. We're in Orange County. I think city of Orange. We used to host our uh, Paul Walker meets right here. We're supposed to be torn wherever he is. Your bike is messed up. Where are you gonna get a bike from? Where are you gonna get a bike? Rental? No time. What? Oh, we can get a hand. No time. We're, we're hitting two Pokestops. Two Pokestops while we're having dinner. 
All right, guys, we just finished food. We're gonna head to the movies, watching Jason Bourne. I'll report back to you guys and let you know how the movie is. I'll probably fall asleep, low key. What's Mike doing here? <laughs> Showed up, all of a sudden. That movie was good, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I like that it. That was good. Uh, Jason Bourne, definitely a go watch. We're gonna head over to Iris's mom's house real quick to pick up some food. We headed home. What do you think of the movie? I like a lot. I like a lot. I think, think I think there's gonna be another one again. What do you think of the GTR? Oh, I thought we were talking about the movie. That too, but what do you think of the GTR? <laughs> Me like I'm comfy in here. Make your mind. Put it on the plate. And movie magic, we're at home. On our way home, we actually encountered a Mustang. And I think it was a Challenger or Charger, depending on how far they were from me, because I couldn't really see them. But they're really cool. They didn't try to race me, so mad respects to you guys. I took Iris's um, dad on a drive in the GTR. He said no more, which I thought was freaking hilarious. Uh, plans for tomorrow, I'm actually headed to LA, down towards Venice Beach, but not actually to the beach. I'm taking care of some business. We'll be taking the GTR with me tomorrow but if you guys like what you guys see you guys like me daily vlogging definitely hit the like button because it helps share the video and it does a lot for the channel so thank you so much guys really appreciate the support and as always i'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 a.m turbo turbo subi are you excited to have a little brother or sister in the house Subi, tell everybody how much we appreciate them. No? If you appreciate the viewers, keep drinking water. There we go.